Once you're done with that, you may choose one of the many hairstyles or facial hair options to complement it. Of course, you can also adjust the color of your hair, eyes and skin to your liking. Next up is your character's armor. Here we can create our own custom suits from four different armor classes. Clothes offer no protection at all but they don't incur any movement penalty. Light armor, usually made of padded cloth, has great resistance against blunt arms, but they are easily penetrated by swords and other sharp weapons. Medium armor, made of composite materials, offers a balanced mix of protection and speed. Heavy armor, mostly crafted from big plates, will offer you the greatest protection overall, but leaves you very vulnerable against maces and hammers, as well as weighting you down and impairing your speed. The armor customization allows you to design your own sets from head to toe. It is divided by three areas of your body, the head, upper body and legs, each of which has options for picking armor from any tier you like. From there you can customize it further by altering the smaller pieces like gloves or boots. Once you've completed picking your parts, you can start coloring your armor as well as select from a couple different patterns and emblems to decorate your chest piece. And if that wasn't enough yet, you could even take it one step further and apply varying degrees of wear and tear to give your gear some final touches. The tier you choose in each region dictates how well you're protected against blows to those respective areas. Mothau's weaponry is split into many different categories, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. These arms range from puny little daggers to massive two-handed swords, as well as some ranged weaponry like bows and crossbows. Each of these categories offers a small, customizable weapon kit assembled from different parts. These options are just for looks and don't affect the weapon's performance in any shape or form. The weapon damage, reach and speeds only varies between the actual weapon categories simply to make it easier for the player to distinguish what they are up against and in return helping us to make those weapons feel more unique and useful in their own way. You can dye leather wrappings, apply different finishes to your metals, as well as change the wood type of your handles. Later on we will expand each of these categories with more kits in different styles, so for instance you may be able to build an iconic claymore in the greatsword category. At the time of this video, there's already over 200 possible part combinations across the currently implemented categories and there's lots more to come. All this customization eventually comes together on your loadouts. Here you will be able to pick your customized armored weaponry as well as specialize your character via proficiencies. Those unlock additional equipment to aid you on the battlefield and grant you perks for better survivability during fights. We will elaborate more on that in one of our future videos. That about covers the majority of the possible customization in Modha. As always, thanks for the great ongoing support and stay tuned for a Kickstarter campaign later this year.